Hola, ¿qué tal gente? Yo soy Dave Higgins, bienvenido a Sandbox Explorer. Alright, so, um, I'm not fluent in Spanish, I know a little bit of it, so I hope that I pronounced everything correctly. Um, yeah, I would like to learn more, so if, if, if anybody out there wants to help me out a bit, then please do, ayúdame. Um, anyways, um, if you watched my last video, then um, thank you for watching it, and I apologize because, I don't know, I felt like it dragged on a lot. Um, I, I still need to look more into Graveyard Keeper. Um, I'm not going to get into it right now. If you watched it, you watched it. If you didn't, check it out, I guess. But Dragon Quest Builders 2 came out. Um, I have not played. The, I have not had the opportunity to actually play the full game. I played the demo when it came out, so um, I'm going to open this up right now. Um, but yeah, the 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 demo I was really enjoying, and when it ended, I well, you could actually do more in the demo, um, but it didn't save the progress. So I I don't want to get too far into it. I played a little bit past after the ship. Um, I don't know if you played the demo if it's going to transfer from the ship on if we're going to replay the ship now i know only really about that much um but uh yeah i'm going to play play some of that and check out a little bit of the beginning of it so you guys can see what's up with that and decide whether or not you're interested in checking the game out uh trying it out getting it, getting it for yourself playing the game um Loading up this book here. Um, yeah, I, I just finished recording the Graveyard Keeper one, so no, I, I haven't even edited it yet. I, I as you saw probably um, in the beginning of this, uh, if you looked, that it was still open. So I just did it. I, I just talked about in that one how I did the Savage Race and I got these medals. So a, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna brag about that a second time because I. I did two waves of it, so I get to brag twice. And I just wanted to fill some time during the loading screen, so that's why I did that again. So, all right, we got the beginning loaded up, and here we are. Continue from claim builder bonus. Oh, okay. Um, continue from demo. Yes, please. So, if you didn't play the demo, then I'm assuming you start from the beginning. Um, I'm gonna just briefly go over it. You start out on a ship, and you're like a prisoner from someone, I don't know. There's like enemies, a skeleton dude who's like the captain of the ship, and there's like a slime and all those people, and there's like other people like you on it. Um, you follow him around, and he kind of is like, Hey, like, I should kill you, basically, but I'm not gonna, because I want you to do this thing for me. And then you, you do tasks for him, and um, you kind of just learn some of the basics on how to build some stuff. And then, um, after you do that for a little bit, you end up getting into the bottom of the ship, and it starts to have, like, holes in it, and water comes in, and you gotta patch those up, and works for a few minutes and then uh, it just completely collapses in and then you wash up on the shore you meet this dude I forget his name we're gonna see him in a second and um, he's like I don't have my memory I have amnesia I don't know like what's going on here but like I'm gonna tag along with you and then you meet this girl I forget her name too um, and she makes you like build her a little little cabin I think we might be doing that in this, so let's let's open it up. Isle of Awakening. I never played the first game either, um, but I was reading that you don't have to play the first one to play this one. It doesn't continue the story. It's a whole new one, so um, that's another little bit of information in case you're like me and haven't played it. Or if you have played it and you didn't know that, <laughs> apparently that's the case. I need some water. Sailing. <clears throat> this is fun. <laughs> um, yeah, I should be talking during this, shouldn't I? 
Uh, you learn the recipe for pixelated protagonists. Yeah. Oh, because you can... Oh, wait. Pixelated prince? Princess? Sun sigil block? Star sigil block? Moon sigil block? Water sigil block? Soul sigil block? Legendary line out, Dragon Quest logo. Ornamental Chimera Wing. Ornamental Medicinal Herb. Herb. You'll be able to use your downloaded content once you progress to a certain point in the game. Oh, okay. Apparently I have that downloaded content. I don't know what that was. Alright, so... That stuff I was saying about the dude... Hasn't happened yet. So... <laughs> I awaken on a sandy shore. It seems he has washed up on a desert island, along with the wreckage of the skeleton ship, the skeleton I just mentioned. He decides to take a look around to see what he can see. See, so I'm trying to actually remember some of the controls. Do they have it on here? I set up the... You can set the controls to be however you want it to be. I set it for how I personally like it. Okay, so I have it set up to look up and down with the R, R and L trigger. Um, you can run with uh, ZL. Uh, place an item down with X. Use your tool is the right ZR. Um, I have it set to change tools with the bottom directional pad. Uh, button, D-pad, depending on what you have. Uh, if you have a Pro Controller, it's D-pad. If you have the regular Joy-Con, it's the directional pad. Um, hold it down to get the tool menu and up the inventory. Um, I like to have regular camera. I don't like it inverted with this. Only when I'm playing a playing game. And uh, Yeah, anyways. Alright, so... You press Y to, like, use your weapon. I don't want to say sword, because it's not a sword. Here's the map. You can look around above you if you press the... Oh, wait, no. Okay, you can look around more. If you press the minus button, it'll give you a top-down view of where you are in general. If, apparently, if you press A, you can look at the map. This is all I have discovered at the moment. Um, so let's gather some of this stuff because it's necessary. Food is important. Can't get that yet. Alright, so. We're gonna walk along the shore. Oh, yeah. Suddenly, David hears a voice. There's nothing here. The whole place is deserted. Where is this place, anyway? How did it even get here? The voice seems to be coming from the other side of the rocky outcrop. David might be able to dig through the sand to get to the other side. But he first is gonna check inside this uh, treasure chest that had kelp in it. Word. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna just smash through here, and here's the Isle of Awakening, the land of infinite opportunity. Apparently I'm carrying sand. You press... Yep, no, no, never mind. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take a second here and just grab a little bit of sand, because, uh... When I played the demo, I made a bridge. I'm not gonna sit through making that. Maybe I will, I don't know. We'll see. But... You attack the... If you played this, you know. If you haven't played it, you don't know. And I'm gonna teach you. <laughs> Uh, you just attack the different terrain, and you, you get it. 
building materials basically from it or whatever it is that you need. Sometimes it's food. Um, and you can't do it with everything. Like, for example, let's make it so I can get up there. For example, let's take that. Uh, I can't, I can't smack this, which looks like some kind of stone or something. But this, I, this I can. It's kelp. Come on, it's kelp. This is also, you know, can't get that now. So you need to have different tools. It seems like to get different building materials, which makes sense. It's like Minecraft, like Stardew Valley, like any anything like that. Um, the sky is such a strange color. Have I died and gone to heaven or hell? More likely. Huh? What was that noise? Hey, Spiky. Who the heck are you? Spiky. Yep, so here's that dude. Finally, a live one. Say, you wouldn't happen to know how he wound up here, would you? You were on a ship that sank, and then you woke up on this beach. So, how come you didn't... Park it too. <laughs> Cart. What's your story? Your name is David and you're an apprentice builder. Huh? Never heard of that them before. Never heard of one of them before. Congratulations, I guess. Anyway, my name is Malroth. That's his name. Hey, you wanna see something really gruesome? Follow me. Alright, let's uh follow him. What's the matter? You're not squeamish, are you? Come on, you won't be disappointed. If you want to see something really grim, follow me. Alright, I'm trying to follow you, but you're not going. There you go. So you can hold down the dash button. Yeah, bro, I'm following you. Let me just smash this barrel since... Now that's what I call dead in the water. Bet you've never seen anything like this before. Seems like you and me are the only survivors from the shipwreck. What's that? You don't remember seeing me on board? Yeah, I was about to say that. But if I wasn't on your ship, then how did I... Off splutter. What the? Hey, that girl isn't dead after all. After all. She sounds like she's in a pretty bad way, though. Uh, we should do the right thing and put her out of her misery. He wants to just kill her. It's no response. It's just a corpse. I know this is uh, not the girl. A wave breaks on the shore and washes the body out to sea, and now it's gone. That'll happen with this one, too. There's no response. It's just a corpse. A wave breaks on the shore and washes the body out to sea. And, uh, just in case you're wondering, this is a slime, and there's no response either. It's just a corpse, and guess what? A wave breaks on the shore and washes the body out to sea. Alright, so now we're gonna go up to this girl. Ugh. Gasp. Where... Am I? How did I get here? Eep. You know. You're p, -p, p pirates aren't you? Filthy, freeboating, freebooting brigands who shall take me captive and demand a ransom for my safe return. Wah. Wah. There she goes. She's got a mouth on her, hasn't she? There's only one way to make sure she shuts up for good. Mind if I do the honors? Not, not particularly. Get away from me, you villains. If you're going to take me captive, at least tell me where you are and how I got here. Where we are. Well, we're on an island with nothing but sand, rocks, and a few corpses to keep us company. You must have washed up here with David with uh, when your ship sank. Just a moment, do I know you? Yes, I remember. You're that builder from the ship. The one who ran around grinning while those horrid monsters barked orders at you. Yeah, that's me. I knew you were- I know you were in cahoots with them, so that means that this is all your fault. Well, what are you going to do about it? You're going to make the things we need to survive while we wait for a rescue party? Oh, well, alright. Even a rank amateur like yourself should be able to use that worn-out workbench inside to make the most of basic essentials. I'm Lulu, by the way. Now. What will we need to hold out until help arrives? Let me see. Lulu's demands. See, this is what I want. Tasks. If you watch the Graveyard Keeper video, you know that I wanted a task list. We'll need shelter from the elements while we wait to be rescued. I'd rather not die of exposure before then. 
Well, that's probably a good idea. The walls must be at least two blocks high, and we'll need a door for getting in and out. Why not use this old shack? It's rather worse for wear, but... I'm sure you can fix the place up. You can salvage some of the decking from the wreckage to patch up any holes. Just use those gloves of yours to pick it up. You won't have to worry about the splinters that way. You got gloves from the uh, one of the dudes on the ship, um, so you can pick stuff up. You can't pick stuff up until you have that. Apparently, you need to have gloves to do that. We have no idea how long it'll take for a search party to locate us, so we'll need to find enough assistance to hide, to tide us over until we are rescued. There's a bound to be a scallywinkle or two on the seashore. They're edible as long as you give them a good grilling on the bonfire first. You'll need some wood to build a fire. Luckily for us, there are plenty of pieces of driftwood and broken barrels from the ship shipwreck lying about. You may as well put them to use. And now I can't be expected to put my head down for the night on these lumpy old rocks. I need a proper bed if I'm going to get my beauty sleep. I don't imagine you're capable of, capable of building four posters, so... We shall have to make do with three piles of straw bedding. Place them in the room when you're done. Hey, don't start telling us what to do, bossy boots. Who made you the leader here, anyway? Pipe down, you Neanderthal. You don't even have the common decency to wear a proper shirt. Don't think you're impressing anyone with those oh-so-mighty muscles. Say that again, and I'll show you how mighty these muscles are. You know what he doesn't have? These. <laughs> Oh, Builder, you'll do those little favors for me, won't you? You'll save me from the savagery. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's wonderful. I knew you'd do exactly as I asked. Yeah? You can consider these little tasks as training exercises if you like. Then, when you become a fully-fledged Builder, you'll have me to thank for it. For sure. It's all, it's all from you. Training exercises? Who does this girl think she is? Yeah. Remember what I said before about putting her out of her misery? Well, how, how about we put her out of our misery instead? Let the mission begin. Alright, so we're gonna go and pick up these... That girl really gives me the hump. First, she won't stop whinging. Then, the moment she wants something done, she's barking out orders like we're her servants. Don't let her boss you around, okay? You're a builder at the, sa at the end of the day, not her lackey. Yep, yeah, I... Yeah, yeah, I know she's stranded here too, but that doesn't mean you have to help her. Don't be such a soppy sad case. She's a castaway at the end of the day. Same as us. You've got to look out for number one. That's my motto. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask. Uh, you know how you said you were a builder? Is that, like, something to do with a duck's nose? That is exactly what it is. Well, whatever this builder business is all about, I'll help you, but only so I don't have to hang around with her. Have you decided which of her errands you'll do first? If it was up to me, I'd mend those walls while while we're here. Just stuff some planks in the holes, and hey, presto, we've we've built ourselves a brand new room, right? To be honest, I blanked out the rest of her requests. Speak to you again if you need a reminder. All right, so we're gonna take this. I said we're gonna take this. I'm just gonna put it right there. We take this, and uh, we're gonna put it right. Uh, no, no, no. How about right there? We're gonna take this one over here. And we're gonna run around uh, back to that spot. Throw that there. Gonna do that here as well. And then you guessed it. We're gonna do. Uh, nope. We're gonna do it there. And uh, also there. And now she's gonna be so happy. David, you repaired my room. Now I have somewhere to hide in safety should monsters attack. Not bad for a base apprentice. Just so you know, a room must have a door and walls at least two blocks high. That's the first rule of rooms. Makes sense. Anyway, I'm ever so happy to have a proper place to stay, and you two are very welcome to stop by at any time you'd like. All right, so we made a room. Well, she seems pretty satisfied with the new room. Right? Next up is dinner. She wanted us to cook some of those scallywinkle things on a bonfire, didn't she? Is that something that you can do? Add the... <laughs> hmm, uh, I might. I learned a new recipe. Have you learned a new recipe? You write it down in your book. Somehow you just learn it automatically, but that's fine. So we learn how to make a bonfire. What's the deal with that book? Huh? You just invented bonfires? Oh, okay, so yeah. And now you can build one if you have enough materials. 
All you need to do is put together some wood and oil on that worn out workbench. Well, if it's oil you need, I can give you some. I wrung this out of a slime that I got my way earlier. Here. Thanks for the oil. All you need now is wood. That girl said you can get some from the driftwood and broken barrels on the beach, whatever that means. Anyway, you'd better get that bonfire built. No use starving her. It'll only put her in an even worse mood than she's already in. <laughs> Alright, so let's uh, let's go get some of those scally wonkers. That's not one, that's just a barrel. Grab some wood. Because we're gonna need some wood. Oh yeah, so Malroth will like, follow you around and uh... Hey David, I want to ask you something. I keep hearing about making and materials and builders, but what does any of that actually mean? You smash things you find here and there to get materials, which you use to make new stuff. That's being a builder. That's what being a builder is all about. Uh, okay, I think I'm starting to get a clearer picture of what it is you guys do. How come I don't know already? How come I don't know already? Look, they might be ten a penny where you come from, but I'm telling you, I've never met a builder before. <laughs> oh, not that I remember anyway. When I get my memory back, I'll tell you all about my blissful builder-free childhood. In the meantime, if you need a helping hand smashing stuff to get materials, then I'm your man. I destroy pretty much everything I touch. You know, those scallywinkles Lulu was asking for, there might be some knocking about nearby. Let's keep our eyes peeled and bag them for ourselves. I was about to explain that he also, like, smashes stuff up as you go along, but he just, uh, explained it. So, see? Thanks, bro. You gonna smash that log? Here's a scallywinkle. What's that funny-looking thing you got there? It wouldn't be one of those scallywinkles that girl was jabbering on about by any chance. Well, it smells pretty fishy to me. If we ate one of them raw, we'd be chucking up chunks till the break of dawn, and that's something I'd rather avoid. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a couple more of those while we're over here. When you jump, jump into the deeper water, you run slower. Um, and you can't use... Actually, can you? Oh, yeah. You can't, you can't use, like, dash when you're in there. Thanks, bro. And there's some slimes over here. Get some oil, because, you know, if you, ever, if you ever played a game where you need to collect stuff and you know, use materials that you find along the way, you know that you need to collect a lot of stuff going to be using a lot of materials, so might as well grab some stuff while you're around. Not that. Looking for that. Alright. Okay, get that one, too. Alright, so it looks like, you know, oh, let's, let's, let's kill him, too, just because, you know, Oh, Alright. Let's let's head back. Alright. Like I said, we got those uh Got those blocks. I'm gonna add a little bit of layer. In front of the in front of a little not that one. I am going to add <laughs> third time's a charm. I'm gonna add a little bit more, you know, space to to have in front of the house. I'm gonna call it the house. Just to give us some more room. Alright, there we go. A little, little more breathing room. Um and you know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna build a little little bridge across. Cause that's what I did last time, and I can't help myself from doing it again. It's in my demo, um, but it's not in this one. But it, it is now. Although in the in the demo, I have like a, a pretty a semi intricate bridge across that's like raised and all that. But for now, we're just gonna build a small one. 
Just for getting across purposes, it makes it easier than having to jump through the water and jump up. Wow, I don't know what I just did that for. There we go. All right, so now we got a little bridge that we can just, you know, run, run straight across if we, we need to. I'll, I'll build more of it later, but for now, this is all we got. And we're, we're also, you know what else we're going to do? We're going to make a little area specifically for the bonfire. Oh, we ran out of sand. So, we're going to grab some sand from the shoreline here. See, see what I'm saying? You gotta grab a lot of sand, a lot of, a lot of materials, because you're gonna use a lot for random things. At least I'm gonna use them a lot for random things, but I'm sure that you're also like me, and you just like to build if you're playing a game about building. So, this, this is enough for us to make a little area, a little area for a bonfire. When hunger strikes, if your fullness gauge ever drops to 0%, you won't be able to dash or string two sword slashes together. It's wise to fill your stomach before that happens. So, yeah, we need to we need to make this bonfire so we can cook food. I mean, you don't have to cook the food. <laughs> Malroth, uh, yeah, you probably want to get out of there. You don't have to cook the food, but um, it's probably a good idea because cooking the food makes it so you get more, like, health points back, or stamina points back, rather. So let's add this here. Alright, so that's a good little bonfire area. Let's, uh, let's build a bonfire. So, here it is. I'm gonna make one bonfire. And now, we are going to go out to our little, little area we made for the bonfire. And we're going to... place it. What's that you made? It's hot as heck, and it spits and crackles. It must be a bonfire. But are you sure you know what's what you're doing about that? With... Sorry, guys. My brain just doesn't work that well today. <laughs> um, but are you sure you know what you're doing with that? You know you're not supposed to play with fire, right? You can use a bonfire to cook food, select an ingredient, put it on the fire with X, and press A to start cooking. See what happens when you throw a scallywinkle on so we're gonna go to the Scallywinkle, and we got a bunch because we really want more. And we're gonna place that right on there. And then you press A, and that cooks it. Careful, David, the Scallywinkle just fell in the fire. Ah, that must be how you cook it. Mm-hmm. So you builders can make food too, eh? Still, it'll be a little while till that Scallywinkle's completely cooked, so let's go and look for some more materials while we wait. Food takes a little time to cook. Just try to be patient. It'll be ready before you know it. Um, yeah, I guess we can go get some more materials in, like, the 20 seconds that it's going to take. I think it's ready. I think I heard that little sound. Should be ready now. But, you know, here, now, now we get some more sand, right? Alright, so that's ready now, and we're going to collect it. That aroma! Here she comes! Is that the smell of a succulently seared scallywinkle? I must have it. Yeah, you can have it. I made it for you. Om nom nom. Ah, the scent of the seaside combines perfectly with the gravelly crunch of the sand grains. <laughs> Simply irresistible. Yeah, you can't really clear that out, can you? But you don't have to limit your culinary repertoire to scallywinkles, you know? If you see anything else that looks vaguely edible, try cooking it on a bonfire. I find a cook's meal much more filling than raw fare, and it makes me feel healthier too. Just remember that cookery is all about experimentation. Cook food on the bonfire, complete. Oh, how rude of me, I just realized I never asked your names. Yeah, you asked us to do a bunch of stuff, but you didn't want to know who we were. David and Malroth, you say? I know you're a builder, David, but what do you do, Malroth? What do you do, Malroth? 
Well, I'm actually, I don't know what I do. I woke up on this island, but I can't remember anything before that. My memory is completely blank. <laughs> well, well, an apprentice builder and his amnesiac friend. What an unexpected partnership. Pretty, pretty accurate. Oh, we're not partners. If you think a guy like me would team up with a puny little runt like him, you must be dreaming. Yeah, bro? Yawn. Speaking of... Really? <sighs> Speaking of dreams, I'm starting to feel a little drowsy. It's been a long, stressful day, and that's... Yeah, it's such a long, stressful day of waiting for us to do stuff for him. For and that seared scallywinkle has filled me up nicely. So, David, how's progress going with that straw bedding I asked you to make? I'm really rather ready to hit the hay. Put him in... David learned how to make a, a, a new recipe. It's a, a, a straw bedding. Wow, I'm, I'm so smart. I just thought about that. I made it up on the spot. So now we can make a straw bed. Here we go. He's got his book out again. <laughs> what have you invented this time? Is that so? You reckon you make straw bedding out of dry grass? Well, I think I saw some dry and grassy along the shore to the west. Could that be what you're looking for? Uh, it, it could be. But you know what we're going to do? Uh, we're going to make a couple of these. Because we're only at 7% health, food, whatever whatever it said specifically. But basically, your stamina level ability. No, your stamina level is that. I don't know what they called it. Your food percentage. Let's call it that. So you, you go to that. You make the food. Seared Scallywinkle that, recovers 20%. If you eat it by itself, just to compare. Uh... Actually, you can't eat that one by itself. You can eat kelp on its own. Kelp on its own is 5%, and then when you cook it, it's it's quicker to cook the kelp. So let's let's just uh, let's get some more kelp. Oh, thanks for getting more kelp, now, Rob. <clears throat> when it's cooked kelp, crispy kelp rather. It's 15%, so it add, it triples it by th by three. Um, it <laughs> multiplies it by three. <laughs> um, we're gonna cook that too, and we have 45%, so we'll we'll come back to that after. We'll get some of that some of that dry dry grass. We're gonna smack a couple of them around. Uh, is this the dry grass? This is the dry grass. So we're gonna grab some of that. We're gonna... <laughs> you know, need the oil for the fire, so we might as well grab it while we're here. There's a bunch more dry grass over here. It's always a good idea to grab a bunch of what you need. Alright, so... What's this? David examines the strange stone carving, but nothing happens. We'll get to that. Might as well grab a couple extra scallywinkles while we're here. Because, uh, food is good, and you need it. Uh, how about you pick that up? Thanks, bro. And, uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this log with us, because, um... I want it for my campfire little area. My little bonfire. I want somewhere to sit. I don't think you can sit on this, but... I want to pretend. Stand on it. I can pretend I'm sitting on it. We're gonna we're gonna do this. We're gonna take like that, and we're gonna throw another one on there because we need more food. Now 
then we're also going to grab this log. Do you know why? Because symmetry. Boom. Maybe we'll get another one later and we'll add it out this way. But for now, that's good enough. Looks nice. Looks nice enough to me. Um, probably, probably grab, you know, two more logs and throw them around the corners and make it look nice. But, um, in fact, just to prepare, I'm gonna add... I'm gonna add it here. Because it's gonna look nice. It's gonna look real nice. Throw another scallywinkle on the fire. Why don't we just, like, scarf one down now? Or maybe the other one, too. Because, uh, now we get 71%. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's good for us. So, you can check what you need to do for her her missions here. But we know what we want to do. We want to build some straw bedding. One, two, three. Three piles of straw bedding. Here we go. Right, so we're gonna throw... One right here. We're gonna add a little space in between. And we're gonna throw one right here. And another space. And another one right there. This is wonderful, David. You made a bed for me and a couple for yourselves, too. Take a nap during the day. Taking a nap during the day will help to recharge our energies, and after the sun goes down, we'll be able to, to while away the dark and dangerous night in dreamland. <sighs> I wonder what Mama and Papa would say if they knew I was rubbing shoulders with a builder on a, des on a desert island, no less. When the children of Hargon attacked my hometown of Rippleport, Rippleport, my parents were caught up in the fighting. Those maniacal monsters murdered them in cold blood. Well, that's not good. So I stowed away on that accursed ship, hoping to avenge their deaths, but I was caught before I had the chance to do anything. We all know what happened next. Oh, Papa, Mama, I may be marooned on a desert island with these two lumbering lummoxes, but I shall survive. I pray that you watch over me in these trying times. I appreciate the compliment. Anyway, thank you both ever so much for sorting out our sleeping arrangements. It's been a long, hard day. I guess we all get some well-earned rest. You... You worked so hard, Lulu. Let's see now. You've repaired the room, sorted out my sleeping arrangements, made me supper. I do believe that's everything. Yeah, I got you. I must say, it's a real relief to have a builder around, and judging by the quality of your work, one would never imagine you were still only, only learning the ropes. Yeah, I know it. I know we're stranded here, but I'm... But in a weird way, I'm actually looking forward to it. I shall give you even more work to do, so that you might blossom as a builder. <laughs> the castaway life might be a little less luxurious than I'm accustomed to, but even so, I think this could be a fun little adventure. Well, you're probably not going to do too much, I'm guessing. And as for you, Malroth, this could be the perfect opportunity to absorb a little culture, and maybe even some manners. You could probably both have some manners. Now then, David, I want you to go out at first light every morning and forge 30 scallywinkles and 50 stripes of kelp. It must be all cooked by lunchtime or I shall be cross. Uh, um, yeah, we'll see about that. I don't know. I don't really care if you're cross with me or not. Because, uh, you're not really doing too much for me. I thought Lulu might calm down a bit once she got what she wanted. But she's just as big of a pain in the neck as she was before. Still, I'm impressed. Despite all her nagging, you made everything we need to stay alive. Yeah, I got you, homie. I wish you could do what you do. I wish I could do what you do. <sighs> hmm. Hey, David, can I have a go on that workbench? I want to try something myself. Yeah, let's do it. I'm sure you're going to do just great. I've been watching you make stuff all day, and I'm pretty sure I know exactly what to do. Watch this, David. I'm going to be a builder just like you. I'm sure you are. Now then, what was it you do first? Yep, that's what I do first. 
No, that's not right. That's right. That's not right. Yep, it's a smash the workbench. Damn it. Why isn't this working? All right, you asked for it. Big little smash, right? Just gonna smack the table a bit. What did I do wrong? It doesn't make sense. Yeah, why can't I make things? At this rate, I'll never be a builder. Ah, forget it. I thought making stuff would be all fun and games, but it's actually way harder than it looks. No way. Huh. Sorry, David. I'll be relying on you to build things for me for here on out. And as seeing as you made all that stuff for Lulu, I think it's about time you even things out and made something for me. Oh, really? What are you going to do for me, bro? Eureka! David learns a new recipe. Hey. Yay! Oaken Club. A stout and sturdy wooden cudgel can only be used by Malroth. Attack plus 12. Well, let's make you a club, bro. Is that for me? I skipped past it. Yeah, it's for you. It's not just any stick. It's an oaken club. I can use it to whack stuff. <laughs> ah, that sounds right up my alley. All right, I'll take care of it. Give it here. Give to Malroth. David gives the open club to Malroth. Hey, this is this really is a club and a half. I wonder how it performs. Yeah, you doubted me, but like you know that I'm awesome. So only one way to find out. Stand back while I give this beauty a few tech swings. I'm trying to stand back. You're swinging right where I am. Hey, I'm so supportive. Ha ha ha! I like it. No, I love it. Squishing slimes will be so much more satisfying now. And to think, you made it using only the junk we found on the beach. You're amazing. Blah. Blah. Thanks, David. The club is the best present anyone has ever given me. I think. Uh -huh. huh? David, can you feel that? Hmm. Some kind of evil aura. It must be coming from a monster, but whatever it is, it's way more dangerous than those scrawny little slimes we saw before. <laughs> It'd be a good chance for you to learn a thing or two about how to fight. Just follow my lead and you'll be scrapping with the best of them in no time. The monster's somewhere down the coast of the west. Come on, I want to break in my new club by breaking that sucker's skull. A new destination has been added to your map. All right, well, let's, let's collect this. And, uh, let's throw another, let's throw another one on. We'll come back to it later. All right, cook that up. All right, let's, uh, let's run over here. Let's clear the way there, because we're going to be jumping over that. As a matter of fact, let's just clear the way. You don't want to smash some sand with me, guy? That's okay. Alright. So now we can just kind of stroll through there. That's a little bit easier. Ran out of stamina, but it's all good. Oh, a group of monsters appeared. Smash that slime. Smash that slime. Smash all them slimes. I get so happy every time I see plus experience points. I just love games where you earn experience points to level up. Oh, I got attacked. Boom. 5 EXP. Oh yeah, high five. Whoa, what was that? When you stuck your hand out just then, I got this irresistible urge to slap it. It's called a high five? It's something that friends do to celebrate a job well done? Huh, I never thought of myself as the touchy-feely type, but maybe I can make an exception for this high five malarkey. Anyway, how did you enjoy the battle? I don't know about you, but I'm feeling bitter already. I'm feeling weak. <laughs> David and Malroth's level increases. Hooray! In the demo, I couldn't increase my level, so that's cool, because I am now level 2! I love leveling up! Malroth gets stronger, and David reaches level 2. His maximum HP increase... as Felt good whacking that rat, right? It's like an irritating little itch that has been well and truly scratched. 
But don't forget you're a builder, not a fighter. If you want to stick to this construction, you can leave the monster mashing to me. I mean, I can fight too, bro. Still, building does look like fun, but I wish I could make stuff like you do. But I guess uh, wanton destruction is more in my bag. Yeah, you can be like my bodyguard, I guess. Anyway, let's head back to the hut before Lulu steals all the bedding. She's a wily one, all right? You better make sure you sleep with one eye open tonight. What's that mean? David. So, I'm glad I met you. What do you say we explore the whole island together? Just you and me. But let's do it tomorrow. I'm about to conk out any second now. All right. A little bit of a, you know, you're kind of being rude to me, but then you're being nice to me. What's this, what's this deal? Resting on a bed during the daytime will restore your health, but climb into bed at night and you'll go straight to sleep and wake up bright-eyed and bushy-tailed the next morning. Alright, so... Let's just go to sleep, man. I'm tired. I like the sound effects over the different terrain. See, look, isn't it such a good thing that we made this? Look how much easier that is to get over that little area. Uh, let's collect this. Said, let's. No, I don't want to. I don't want. I don't want to talk to you. I want to get out, get out here, Malroth. This is being difficult. Collect, and um, don't forget. Put that. And now we're all going to sleep. Oh. The next morning. Yeah. Good morning, you two. I hope you slept soundly because our new life as castaways officially begins today. Well said. <laughs> Your first mission is to collect some kelp for breakfast from the beat. Eek. Yeah, I'm not about that life right now. No! What is it, Lulu? A monster? It's my Scallywinkle. It's disappeared. Oh. What? You didn't eat it already? I thought you already ate it. All right, Malroth, own up. I know it was you. I purposely only ate half of that seared Scallywinkle last night. Oh. So I could have the rest for breakfast. Give it back this instant. Would, why would you want to wait till the next morning? What are you twittering on about? I haven't touched your manky, half-munched mollusk. Huh? That aura. What's going on at this time? On this time. Hey, you two. You're going to want to see this. Huh. Huh. Aha! There's the culprit. That monster must be the one who sniffed, snaffled my scallywinkle. Ho, ho, ho! Hmm. <laughs> Wow, you're just smashing through that wall. Whoa, it just took down the whole cliff? And are those steps? Oh, ho, ho, this way, young whippersnappers. Whip, whip, whippersnappers. The floating freak can't seriously expect us to follow it, can it? Hmm, on second thoughts, maybe you'd be able to tell us something about the island. Yeah. David, Lulu, let's get after that monster. I've got some questions that need answered. Alright. Well. Let's go follow that monster. Oh, 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 this way, this way, quick, quick, quickly now. I'm a coming. Grr, stay where you are, you freaky fogey. I don't like this one bit. That mad old monster's even made the sky turn a funny color. I <laughs> about the stupid sky. I want my breakfast, and you two are going to, jo to jolly well help me get it back. I understand that <laughs> the, the, this is. British, and um, they're speaking British, and I should be saying it, British accent, I guess, 
because uh, that's the way that they're going to be talking. But uh, I'm just not right now. So sometimes I'll do that, and sometimes I won't, I guess. Um, just just acknowledging that fact. So here's the cliffside, and if we look out over the side, we can see, you know, some water and all this. So let's continue up and follow after him. This way, kid, kid, kiddlewinks. Nearly there. Nearly there. He's leading us on a wild goose chase. Does that horrid hammerhood expect us to follow him all the way to the top of the mountain? Y yeah, probably. That monster's got some kind of strange power. I've never felt anything like it. We need to catch up. All right. Well, then let's uh, let's make a run for it. Uh, my, my camera died, but my battery died while I was filming that, so if there's a little lapse right there, it's my bad about it. Um, I, like I said, I filmed the Graveyard Keeper one just before this, so um, I haven't invested in a second battery for my camera yet for some reason. Um, so, j just so you know, that's what happened. Whoa. What's a place like this doing on a desert island? I don't know, what is it? Come on, David, the hammerhead's just ahead. Uh, up ahead, let's make a spill in the let's make it spill the beans on all the island secrets. Alright, let's go up ahead and do that. There's no escape now, you sneaky scallywinkle swindler. Just hand over the bivalve and no one gets hurt. Surely a noble lady can permit a hungry ham ham hammer ha put her half snarf leftovers. No excuses. Stealing is stealing. No ifs, ands, or ruts, ifs or buts about it. David, steer that scallywinkle, especially for me. Now give it back, you horrible, hoary, hairy hermit. Ah, uh, yes, David. It just so happens that I've been waiting for a builder to rock, rock, rock up here for, oh, a very long time indeed. Wait, how do you know that he's a builder? Ho oh, ho, you're an observant one, aren't you? Why, the very reason I pinched that scrum, scrum, scrumptious scallywinkle was to lure your fine friend up here. Oh, I'm fine. Look around you, David. This temple has lain in this sorry state for longer than I can recall. If you are the builder, I believe you to be, then perhaps you can fix, fix, fix it. Everything you need to rebuild the temp, temp, temple is right here in these chests. But a fresh-faced builder like you might find this going diff, diff, difficult without a blueprint as a guide. It's reminding me of, it's a suck, suck, suckity saber. Come back here, you conniving old codger. If you think we're going to fix your house for free, you got another thing coming. And anyway, what's a blueprint? <sighs> Obviously, I got it. <laughs> David tries out a mountaintop temple blueprint. I got you. So, you get to look at it. This is what it looks like, and this is what you need. Uh, David, why did you draw all these lines on the ground? Is this one of those blueprints the Hammerhood was telling us about? Gosh, you've never even been here before, but you were still able to draw up a design for the mountaintop temple? That's incredible. I know. Now all you have to do is build it. Make sure you follow the blueprints to the block now. If that's old Looney was telling the truth, those chests should contain everything you need to finish the job. It looks like all you need to do is place the masonry wall blocks in the squares and put a brazier on top of each one. Use your gloves to move them if you make a mistake. Are you ready to show Gary glows a lot how to real how a real builder does things? Keep one eye on the blueprint and you can't go wrong. Press minus when you're standing on a blueprint to view more info about it. Check the blueprint as you build and make sure every block is in its rightful place. Yep. So let's grab the stuff in there. Thank you. I got some masonry wall blocks. And also here, so then beat the braziers. And there's the braziers. All right, so now we're gonna just uh, throw that there, throw that there. A little, little bit, a little bit here, a little bit meow. Oop. So you mess up, you just, you just grab it, and then you put it in the wrong spot again. Pick it up, throw it down. You know, Lulu, I need you to get out of my way. Oh. 
<laughs> What's going on, guy? Wow. All right. Here we go. Throw that there. Nope. Hey guys, can you can you please get out of my way? Thank you. And now that we got the the building blocks in place, we're gonna throw the brazers on. Almost, and then that beautiful symmetry. Uh, I complete the mountaintop uh, blueprint. You know, I got this. <laughs> oh yeah, high five! Good work, David. You finished the blueprint. I, I know, and you didn't even break a sweat. I think I'll have you build me a palace next. That shouldn't be any trouble for an expert like you. Answer me one thing though: How did you come up with that blueprint in the first place? Because I'm a genius. <laughs> Wait, I think I know the answer. That big book in the back has everything you need to know. Uh, to be a builder written inside. Hmm. You're busted now, David. The secret's out, so you may as well let me read it. <laughs> nah, uh, you won't? Why not? Uh, is something the matter, David? You've gone all red. Wait, you don't have a mucky magazine sandwiched between the pages, do you? Huh? Muckiness doesn't matter to me. A quick wipe down with a damp cloth and it'll be good as... Ah! Ho, ho, ho! You finished repairing the temple, I see. I knew you would, 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 wouldn't let me down. All it took was a glance, and you drew up that blueprint as quick, quick, quick as a flash. You're the real deal, David. A builder born of bread, bread, bread. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look how nice it is. As a thank you for your hard work, 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 I'd like to give you a little present. Here you, you deserve it for the crack, crack, crack and job you did. I kind of wish you didn't talk like that. Like, why, why? It's like an extra food. Oh, thanks for the mallet, bruh. Hammer. Alright. Silly old hammer, I thought you were going to give me my back my breakfast. Dude, I'll make you more. I'll make you more. I have a bunch. I have one on me now. You can have it. That's a giant mallet, an indispensable item in the tool kit 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 of any self-respecting builder. With that hammer in your hand, you can break- I'm just gonna say break- Break blocks you couldn't before and gather even more materials. I also have another corking gift for you, David. I'm sure you'll like this one. I give you this island, all of it, every last block, block, block. I did it. What? You're giving him the entire island? All he did was repair the temple. So I get a, I get an island of this, and I get an island in Animal Crossing New Horizons? Word. I'm liking this whole island theme because I like islands. As you know in my first video, I went to Aruba. I loved it. This world was once home to a legendary builder. They came to the island, the Isle of Awakening, and sought to turn it into their very own piece of paradise. But now, everything has crum crum crumbled away. All that remains is the ancient builder's belief, embed bed bedded in the blocks beneath us. Doo 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 doo. Long have I waited for another builder to come, one who can bring life back to this barren land, block by block, block, block. And you want David here to do all the hard work? We don't know what we're supposed to build. I don't know. Stuff. We'll figure it out. Everyone needs to relax. And we don't know who you are, either. I bet this island isn't even yours to give away. It certainly is mine, mine, mine. I'll have you know I'm the guardian spirit of this island, and what I say goes. Well, it looks like you've just become the proud owner of a private island, David. Are you going to take the offer? If you accept, would you mind if I stayed here? I don't really have anywhere else to go. I'll stick around, too, at least until I've got my memory back. I mean, if that's okay with you. Yeah, now that I got something, you want it. What'd you say, David? What do you say, David? Will you take the island? It's a stonk, stonk, stonking good offer. I will take the island. I just knew you'd make the right decision. Now we can begin work, begin work on Lulutopia. Yeah, right. The first thing I want is a pal palace. Malroth, I need you to. Lulutopia, I don't think so. Today we established Malroth's Empire of Evisceration. Closer, but no. Right, David? And she can be our first sacrifice. Closer.
They like each other. Oh, 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 you young upstarts. The island belongs to David now. You should leave big, big, big decisions like those up to him. Yeah, that's right. Now, David, you must be itching to try out that giant mallet of yours. Come up and see if you can break, break, break this wall behind me. There's an absolutely smash, smash, smashing treasure back there that I think you'll be very interested in. I hope so. Hammers are perfect for bashing hard blocks. Press ZR once for a single strike, or press and hold it continuously. You can even switch tool. You can switch tools anytime by pressing down. I uh, let's let's go up. Call that a treasure? It just looks like a tatty old note board, notice board to me. It may seem ordinary to the untrained eye, but that notice board is in fact a portal through which a builder may peek, peek, peek into other dimensions. I'll explain more later. For now, just peer into the portal and marvel at all the knock, knock, knockout things you can see. The notice board is where builders go to share their favorite re favorite snaps. Use it when you want to show off or need a spark of inspiration. You must be connected to the network. So this is where you can see other people's. Uh, Islands, I think. Oh, a pumpkin. I like that. So yeah, this is where you can go see other towns. There's new ones, top snaps, top islands, top snaps by tag and whatnot. So, you know. Uh, it seems like it's like Instagram for this, basically. Um, but, you know, we'll, we'll go back to that. Ho ho ho! Did you like what you saw, young young youngins? Oh yes, I saw the most wonderful photographs and there were so many of them. I hope David takes the time to snap a few himself. I can be his model. Yeah, I bet you want that Instagram model. And then he can post them on the notice board and share them with the world. Ho ho ho! The young young youngins enjoy themselves. Uh, come and find me when you're done done done. I'll be waiting right out here. Open the menu with plus and press X to enter snapshot mode. You can store up to 99 snaps in your album, which can be accessed from the miscellaneous table. Alright, guy. Let's go talk to this little hammer guy again. Ho ho ho! So how do you like your new notice board? It's quite the snap snap snapper's paradise, isn't it? As long as you have one of those dwarves nearby, you can float, float, float the laws of space and time and observe the work of other builders wherever you desire. And you can put your creations on display for other builders to view too. I'm sure you can see that the notice board is a super, super, super notice source of ideas and inspiration. Half of that was complete gibberish to me, but if it helps you build the palace of my dreams, I'm all for it. Speaking of which, I can't see you making much progress on that anytime soon. There's one rather big stumbling block that's getting in the way. It's this island. There are hardly any raw materials, and I don't think I, even a master builder would contemplate constructing a castle out of scallywinkles and kelp. Ho ho ho, I know that little last last lassie. There's only one way to get your hands on the materials you need. Track, track, track them down elsewhere and bring them back here. Alright. As the young dams damsel pointed out, this island is more than a little lacking in useful materials for an aspiring builder. But even if you had everything you needed, I doubt that you'd make much headway with just the three of you. Wood and stone are well and good, but what you really need is people. You'll have to travel to other islands and bring back a few friends to help you out. Besides, it gets lonely rattling around on this big island by yourself. A few fresh faces will liven up the place. Really liven up the place. Hold on, I thought we were stranded here. How are we supposed to get to the other islands without a ship? Oh, a top-notch question indeed, and one that the heavens shall soon answer. You're just winging this, aren't you? You don't have a clue. Hmm. Mm hmm. Oh ho ho! A ship. Who would have thought it? Whoever would have thought it? Dee doo, dee dee, dee doo. You're doing this on purpose now. All right. 
out with it. Who are you really? And you can cut all that guardian spear rubbish. Well, to tell you the truth, I can't remember who I am. I'm not even sure I ever know. This is new, but I've got a funny feeling that it will all come right back to me if I watch David work his building magic. Well, there's no time like the present. Let's go and speak to the captain of that ship and get the work started. New destinations, but add to your map. Alright. Take damage when you fall from a high place. Oh, okay. <laughs> Probably should have kept that in mind. Oh, look. Yeah, there. I'm making you plenty of those scallywinkles. You need to relax. Click you another one. You can have you can have as many as you want. I got you, Lulu. What's up, guy? Ahoy there, me briny bilgerats. I haven't seen any other humans for fathoms. The name's Brownbeard. I was painting the ocean blue, minded my bee's knees, and when I sailed the children at Hargon slave ships. I managed to avoid them, but only by steering into a terrible storm. By the time I realized my map was back to, back to front, I was already stuck in a coffee stain. I tried to turn back, but I was lost at sea. That's when I opened up my port board, bow and ant and hunt it over. Dude. So what's your story? How'd you young whip-snapper whippers end up here? <laughs> My name's Lulu, and this is the kingdom of Lulutopia, or at least it will be. No, it won't be. Once David here is finished with it. <laughs> Lulutopia, eh? Sounds like a lovely place for land lovers like yourself. Hey, and a safe haven for salted old sea dog like me. Goddess only knows what would have become of me if I hadn't sloshed up on these shores. Goddess only knows what this guy's talking about, seriously. Tell you what. If you let me stick around, I'll be your chauffeur. I'll ship you off to any island from here, the second stain of the map's backside. Dude. Or at least I'll try. You see, I know these oceans like the back of my neck, and I don't know me neck at all, but if you hear... <laughs> if you hear any islands nearby, I'll happily ferry you over. Well, your boat's a bit on the small side, but it looks a decent nick. I'll stay... I'll say... I'd say we've got a deal. Ho ho ho, it seems everything is dropping into place. The fine captain will take you to nearby islands where I'm sure you'll find plenty of materials and be able to able-bodied helpers to bring back. Well, the first thing Lulutopia needs is a little greenery. I can picture it now. Tree line boulder boulevard, spacious parks, tables sagging under the weight of the freshly picked vegetables. In this case in that case you should first find Furrow Field, an island to the east, famed for its fertile fields and fruit filled fruitful farms. The island is home to these young lasts with a bright future in farming and a dashing dandy with a bushy beard. They should be able to help your cause. I'll mark it on Captain Brownbeard's map. You can just leave this down to him. Heard of Magic Monster David, come find me when you're ready to go. I'm winning the anchor, blah blah blah. Alright, let's go to the island. You know what? I'm gonna end the video here because... So... Yeah, let's uh... Let's just let's, let's go here. All right, so <laughs> I like this game. I like this game so far. Um, that's the gist of uh, of the beginning of it. You start out, you're on an island, and you got to build stuff. You got some people with you, and you got to get more people. The way to do it, they've led up to it now, is you have to go to different islands and get other people. I don't know. Who knows what other kinds of uh, people you have in store to build up your your village? What whatever you want to do. Um, I, I'm enjoying it. I'm gonna I'm gonna play this a lot more and and really get involved in this and you know, um, yeah. So that's that's the beginning of it. Uh, pick it up for yourself if you want to check out more. Um, I, I feel like this game is gonna have a lot of hours uh, able to be put into it. Uh, it looks like it's really open ended with with tasks um, that you can complete. So there's a lot to do, but it gives you a lot of freedom. So. Um, if you like this video, hit the like button, hit subscribe if you want to see more videos from me, and hit that little bell so you get notified when I release a new video. Um, yeah, that's all. So thank you for watching. I appreciate your, your views. Um, you know, you spending your time with me, it means a lot because, you know, you didn't have to, and you did. So thank you, um, and I will see you on the next one. Take care, everyone.